Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome to Skyblock Returns. Yes, it has been that long. It has been a long, long time, but we are back in single player Minecraft. And that was a message. <laughs> Alright, so what this is, is this is a Sky Factory. Um, Bacon Donut on uh, Steam created the pack. It's on the ATL launcher. You can get it. I have added a couple of mods, or actually just one mod to it. Uh, other than that, it is. Pretty much just Sky Factory, but in my own sense of the word. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, this mod pack requires a lot of, well, it relies a lot on one mod in itself. And that mod is the Ex Eliquo and Ex Nihilo. Now, I could be totally wrong by saying that, but yeah, that's exactly what it requires to need to be to use to get this mod pack going. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Basically what's gonna happen is uh, we need to take wood, we already got our workbench and we just need to get some sticks and get a crook and with that crook we can get saplings. We already have one sapling. I have actually modded this map a little bit for YouTube play because with YouTube play you guys don't want to sit here and watch me wait for a tree to grow. So I have modded just a little bit by putting a chest down there. You'll see this here in a second. Other than that, everything else is the same. So the crook gives you a chance to drop saplings. As you can see, we've got plenty of saplings. We also got an, a silkworm, which I've never used before. I don't know very much about this mod pack in itself, but we'll see how it goes. I just figured it would be awesome to actually play modded technical survival skyblockish back in the days. You remember back in the days when we did that? That was an awesome, awesome map, and I just wanted to do that again. So hence the reason why we're doing it this way. So let's go ahead and kneel down. Oh, I lost that other silkworm. All the way, all the way, all the way. So, this will be a, hopefully, and I know I've said this a thousand times, uh, daily thing, but I really want focus on comments. I want comments to be out there and yelled. I want to know what you guys want to see. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, building our platform out here. Like I said, I have modded it just a little bit. The most... Uh, most of the things that you get when you first start are in that chest, which isn't much. All I did was put a couple of stacks of bone meal, which, just in case we fall off, let's not take all of them. And the torch that you get when you first start, and everything else is just books. So, no new things there. So let's go ahead and throw the sapling down that we did get, and see if we can grow it. Without wasting too much. Is it because the chest is by there, or what? I hope not. Maybe it needs... Let's throw our torch down here. Grow, tree, grow! There it goes. Whew. So as you can see, the two stacks of bone meal that I did get are probably not going to be, like, the be-all, end-all cheatiness of this map, considering that uh, it took quite a bit just to get one sapling to grow. But it at least gives me a chance to start off a little bit faster than what it would be like just sitting here waiting for a tree to grow. Aw, my crook. My first crook is gone. I'm guessing that we'll probably be going through a lot of crooks. So, I'll go ahead and throw that down. We could probably get the wood. Capture this wood right here. So we can start building onto our platform a little bit more because right now we don't really have a lot. Now, I did say I added another mod in here, and that mod is the energy manipulator mod. Now that will be way down the road because first of all you need emeralds for that and I'm not even sure that you can get emeralds on this map. Let me know down in the comment section below if you can get emeralds on this map because again not a hundred percent sure. If you can't well then we'll, we're out of luck no matter what but if you can I'm pretty sure I know Darkcraft's in this so I know that there's gonna be random loot bags and the chance of getting an emerald probably really low but if we do wow that'll be awesome. So there we go. Probably should have used... Come on, grow! There we go. Probably should have used some of that wood to make a crook, but we can make one with this. Now, it's been a while since I've done single player before. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. Can I turn that to anything? Oh, I got a barricade for nothing. That's a lovely barricade. What a lovely, lovely barricade that is. We're just gonna love that barricade because we just wasted it. We wasted it. 
Hopefully I can get a... I should be able to get a crook out of this. There we go. Another crook. I think the crooks improve the chances for saplings as well as it gives you a chance to get the worms. And the worms turn the trees into different things. Oh, we got an apple! Oh, that's gonna help out because, you know, we are gonna get hungry. And food is something that we're... Oh, a second half, third, third, was that? Four apples! Wow. We are super awesome right now. Not only do we have tons of saplings, but we have apples! Okay. I have to remember how to do this. How do I talk to the audience? How do I say hello? Is it hello? I think it's hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Alright, so we got four apples, some saplings. We're doing pretty good right now. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Look at that. Another tree. Oh, this is a bit... Oh, this is a big one. This will help out. This will give plenty of wood. We probably want to grow our platform a little bit with this extra wood we're getting. Because we're definitely going to need it. And I think a wood platform right now is probably the best way to go. I'm trying to hold the shift button so I don't fall off. That would be pretty bad. Although you've seen it many a times before, me falling off this stupid world. I don't think you want to see it immediately right off the bat in an episode. Ooh. Now I don't know everything about this mod. For instance, I don't know how to get lava or anything like that. So it will be a learning process as when I first started doing Minecraft. It's all a learning process. I know a lot about some mods, but not a lot about all mods, so... It's one of those things that you have to learn. You have to learn to do. To say and to do. Alright, there's seven more pieces of wood. I should probably make an axe, but you know... I could care less about an axe. My fist is actually pretty awesome. I care more about not falling off this island. Which we've actually expanded pretty big. Uh, now, we should probably worry about... Actually, we don't have stone. We don't have stone yet. That's a bad thing. So let's make this thing called... Well, actually, it's called a barrel. Ah, okay. Now I see. So we need that, and then that, and that gives us a barrel. Now, apparently you can do something with the barrel. I don't know. Can you put saplings in the barrel? Okay, you can put saplings in the barrel. Okay, I don't know. Oh, okay, well, that gives you a grass block, I think. Not 100% sure. Saplings, barrel, come on. Maybe you gotta keep clicking. Did that give me a grass block? Hello? Hello, barrel. Maybe it has to sit there a while. It might have to sit there a while. Who knows? Let's see if we can make, well, we don't have enough wood to make another barrel. Let's see if we can get some more wood here. Wood, fall down on thy, please. I think that's how you make, oh, it's a dirt block. That's how you make a dirt block. Oh, there we go. Now we have another dirt block. So with that dirt block, we can grow another tree spot. Awesome, two tree spots. Ooh, good thing I didn't use all my saplings there. That could have been bad. All right, we don't, do need to go up just a little bit. To grab the rest of this wood. So I wonder, hmm, I wonder how we get stone. I think you need to get enough dirt and then throw it through a sifter. Which is going to be hard to get because you need enough dirt. So it's a lot of like hitting wood right off the bat. We will get to modded stuff though guys. It's going to take a while. It's not going to be the fastest growing mod let's play you'll see. Because we're going from nothing to everything. And you can't just do that in one click. Unfortunately. Unless you know how. I mean I know creative mode does that. <laughs> but we're not doing creative mode so. Oh. 
Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to go up one more. There we go. Grab that last. Really? That's not the last block. Go up another one then. This is a very tall tree, and it's becoming nighttime, and I hopefully no mobs spawn on my island down there. Watch that other tree grow, like, right as soon as I get down. Which is good, because I won't have to waste bone meal on it. I don't know. What do you guys find best? Do you find the best the smaller trees that are faster to break down, or do you like the bigger trees because you're using less bone meal to get the wood? I'd like to know that in the question comment section down below, because I'm, I don't know. I would say that... For me, I would prefer the smaller trees because they're less to clean up in the end. In the end all, the be it all end all. And that looks like that might be all, oh there's another piece of wood right there. That looks like that might be all the wood. Hopefully. No, there's another one. Hmm. I should have got vein miner in here because that could have probably helped out in the tree But then again that wouldn't help out in my wood vein miner is an option in this mod pack Or at least I noticed it was an option. Ooh, another apple and all the wood that I've collected Oh really there's another piece of wood Is this the last piece Looks like it. It looks like it. If not, we're gonna have a lot of mobs spawning up there. So I don't, I'm not sure how the silkworm works, but let's see if we can mess with that. We got two of them. I wonder if it's after the tree grows you plant, you put it on there. Because it doesn't look like it works any other way. Let's see. Ah, we're gonna need more bone mill than that. Really? Oh, there it goes. think oh infested leaves okay cool so basically you just infest the leaf and hopefully the rest of the tree gets infested too we'll hope let's pray that that's that's what happens right there other than that we're just gonna whoa did it just eat the wasn't there a leaf there I'm not sure Hmm. I wonder how long it takes for the infested tree to actually... Ooh, there's a sapling up there. Come here, sapling! Or apple. Apple sapling. I should probably wait. I should probably wait while this one infests itself. It looks like it's getting older and older. So maybe it'll spread. Maybe that's how that works gets wider and then wider and then spreads to the rest of the tree. I don't know, let's widen our platform while we're waiting. Because the first thing I know we're gonna need is we're gonna need to get stone. And as soon as we get some stone, then we can make a furnace to get some torches. Unless there's another way to get torches, which I'm not sure there is. So that's super white. Hmm. Does it hurt? Uh huh. That's good. It doesn't hurt when you touch it. Oh, it looks like it connected to another one and infested that one. So that's good. Yep, it's spreading. The infestation is spreading. 
So you take a silkworm and you're able to spread the infestation onto other branches and stuff. Let's get another crook. Shall we? I think this actually has a better reach too to get stuff. Yeah. Looks like it does. You can reach a lot farther with the crook. And we have 23 saplings, so let's go ahead and get another. Those should all be going away. Hopefully, soon. Let's go ahead and see if we can get another dirt block. How much is, does it take? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. It takes eight saplings to make one dirt block. Ooh, look at the infestation go. I wonder if I can take the first block now. I probably can. It's all white. Nothing? I got nothing from that? Aww. I was hoping to at least get something from it. We can go ahead and knock this block out right here. And as soon as this dirt block changes, which is... It's looking like it's doing. Look at that. Aww. That is a cool graphics effect right there. Ex nihilo. Nihilio. If I'm saying that wrong, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Another dirt block. Another sapling. Oh, I don't want to actually, like, take down these saplings at all. Because I'm still waiting. Oh, string. Hmm. We got some string, guys. We've got string. Now, what do we do with the string? Well, next thing is the oak sieves. Sieves. And I do believe you take the dirt block and you sieve that. So it's all about saplings. We're definitely going to need a lot more saplings for this. And you do that until you can get enough cobble to make a cobble gen, I would think. Actually, you do that, let's see, I guess you gotta make water to make a cobble gen. It's all about sieving. You need a bucket too, probably. So then we need iron for a bucket. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Alright, got tons of string now. Got six string. How much does it take to make one of these? Nine! Wow, okay, we're gonna need a lot more string than that. Let's see, can we grow? go ahead and grow that? And then we'll infest that. Ooh, did we get another one? We must have got two. Or maybe you can use them more than once, who knows? String it is. Slowly the whole tree is turning. So we finally got ten string. That's enough for one of those. But we need two of them for the sieve. I wonder what else you can put through there. Let's see. Aw, that's probably too early. I just don't know when it's too early or not. See, this one looks like it's good, but I probably need to wait a few minutes. Hmm. All right, let's expand more on our platform here. Looks like the apples we got are probably definitely going to help out. Hmm. Look at that. I don't want to expand too much though because we're definitely going to need uh, to have torches down before we expand too much. There we go, look at this tree. Really? Where's all the string at? Oh, I, I grabbed another worm, that's good. Okay, 15, 
That means we only need two more pieces of string to make our first sieve. And that one's finally spreading. That's awesome. There's one. Come on. I guess we can get rid of. I wonder how... Okay, so it doesn't actually have to be fully that color. Cool. We now officially have enough string to work with. Go over here, turn the string into that, and then need two sticks. Our first sieve. Throw that in there. Guess you can't put apples in there, you can't put that in there. Probably can't put wood in there either, can you? Nope. I'm guessing it's only dirt that you can put in there. Which, with my luck, we're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of saplings. There we go. Wait for that so we can do our first piece of dirt and see what we get. Looks like that tree's turning pretty awesomely. And this one's still waiting. Nice little sieve. I think you can make lava too with the crucible. But you need like clay for that. Bone mill and clay. Earth essence for magical crops. Hmm. Slag from thermal expansion. If you guys have any tips or tricks in this, let me know. Be definitely awesome to know exactly your methods of madness. So we put that in there and we just beat it down a couple of times. We get particles and that gives us stone. So there we go. We got a couple pieces of stone. Now this is nothing to do anything with. Oh, actually four make a cobblestone. Wow. Okay, never mind then. Can you put. Okay, you can't put stone in there. But we do have one piece of stone. So we are one up to make a furnace right there. One up. Looks like this thing's ready to be crooked. Now I think when they're infested, you don't get saplings from them. Oh, you do get, do you see that? We just got a seed. Oh, yeah, that one's, okay, so it looks like when they're infested, you're not gonna get saplings, just string. Keep that in mind. But it looks like uh, we don't have enough. Looks like we almost had enough to get. Oh, we have four more worms as well. Ah, this one's taking a while to spread. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of this tree. We might want to do a couple of trees without putting these worms on them. That way we can get the uh, get the saplings we're gonna need. So we'll throw that down. There's that. Let's go ahead and grab. Oh, let's put all our stuff in the chest and let's make a couple of crooks. That should be good enough. And now we'll just start harvesting for saplings. Because we need enough, enough saplings 
to be able to turn enough dirt blocks to get enough stone. And then we can make a cobble gen. And from the cobble gen, we can pretty much do anything we want. Wonder if you can. Wonder if stone. Or, uh. Doesn't look like it. But I wonder if this is faster on wood. No, it seems like it's the same. Sad days. I think we got four saplings from that. So we're up one from the one sapling we did use. Let's see. Let's go ahead and throw another sapling down. There we go. Come on, saplings. Or apples. I'll take apples. Wow. Bad luck here. Hardly any saplings. I think I know why uh, the tree miner thing's on here. Wow, that was bad luck. A lot of bad luck. Throw another one down. Waste a lot of bone meal. If there's some kind of key way to get saplings. Once we get the energy manipulator, our lives would be so much simpler, but I have a feeling that's probably going to take a long time. Unless we're just lucky enough to get a force bag that has some emeralds in it. Looks like that tree's almost ready to pop and harvest with a string. I wonder if strings are used for anything else in the starting game. We will have to see. Let's go ahead and crook some string off. I know I probably should wait until the whole trees, but I'm impatient. All right. Looks like we got some worms out of that too. That's awesome. Or as you like to call them, silk worms. And 11 saplings. So that's enough to try out another dirt block. Kind of like the waiting game. Let's do that. I wonder if I can... I'm hoping I don't lose this dirt block. Awesome. Fill that in. Kind of want to make it a little bit neater here. Ah, oh, I lost that dirt block. Shucks. Go ahead and throw this dirt block down. So we're one dirt block down now. Let's see. All right, cool. We have enough saplings over there. There's that. And the sun is setting. Oh, no. Another night. We should be in distance of nothing spawning. So let's go ahead and eat our apple. Luckily, we keep getting apples. So that should keep us well fed. Look at that, we have seven apples left. Whoa, another big tree. Let's infest that tree. I have a feeling mobs are going to spawn from up there now. 
Come on, dirt block. Come on, sifter. Only three pieces of stone that time? Oh, wow. This is gonna be a while. Oh, we got grass seeds, though. Awesome. So that'll help out. Not sure exactly what those are used for. Let's come over here. Infested jungle, so all those are infested. There's sand and stuff, but all of those are through sieves. So I think this is going to be a slow starting game. Let's see, can you do anything with this? Doesn't look like it. A wooden hammer. Not exactly sure what a wooden hammer would be good for. So if you guys know, let me know, and we will see you guys once again in the next episode of Skyblock Returns. Bye, guys.